question of will one of these fit in a thin backplate with an iFlash quad is one of the defining questions of the iPod community. And it's been solved. It's been solved. I'll show you right here. Today I'm going to be making a comprehensive guide on extended capacity third-party batteries and their compatibility with all models of iFlash and thick and thin backplates on the 5th, 5.5, 6th, and 7th generation. Today we will mainly be focusing on the iFlash Solo, Dual, and Quad. I do have iFlash CF and iFlash M SATA. However, those are not as popular, so I won't be focusing on them in the video, though I will be putting their compatibility up on the screen when we're done testing with each configuration. Moving on to the batteries, we've got the square 2000 milliamp hour battery. We have the rectangle 2000 milliamp hour battery. We have the 2800 milliamp hour battery. We have the thin 3000 milliamp hour battery. And then we have the thick 3000 milliamp hour battery. The way we'll be doing this is I'm going to focus on one iFlash model at a time, and then we'll go between thin backplate and each model of battery and then thick. In the description, there's a bunch of timestamps if you're here for one specific configuration. First of all, here's our iPod. It's a nice yellow 5.5. It is thin, as you can see. And the first iFlash we're going to be using is an iFlash Solo. iFlash Solo is in. All right, so I just moved the camera a little bit. The only battery that will fit in a thin backplate with an iFlash Solo configuration is the square 2000 milliamp hour battery just like that. You will need to adhere this battery to the back plate. I like to secure the SD card with some captain's tape. Now, obviously, when we move to a thick back plate like such, suddenly there becomes a lot more room inside the iPod. And I'm happy to say all of these batteries, square 2000 milliamp hour, a rectangle 2000 milliamp hour, the 2800, thin 3000 milliamp hour, which we'll get to in a second, and the thick 3000 milliamp hour. They will all fit with an iFlash Solo, Cool, so here's a tally of what the iFlash Solo is compatible with in a thin configuration. And thick. All right, so next up is the iFlash Dual. In a thin configuration, the iFlash Dual is compatible with, in a thick configuration, it's compatible with all of the batteries. There's nothing interesting at all about the iFlash Dual. It's probably the worst SD card iFlash, in my opinion. And finally, the star of today's show, the iFlash Quad, the shining star of the iFlash lineup. Now, this sucker is the greatest iFlash ever made. I'll show you why. In a thin configuration, the iFlash Quad is compatible with the square 2000 million power battery, the rectangle 2000 million power battery, this 2800 million power battery, this thin 3000 million power battery, but not this thick. 3000 milliamp hour battery. For more information on the differences between these two batteries, please check this out. Long story short, the question, will one of these fit in a thin backplate with an iFlash quad is one of the defining questions of the iPod community. And it's been solved. It's been solved, I'll show you right here. For right this very moment, I'm sure you can understand how all of these go in. For the 3000 milliamp hour battery, I'm going to disconnect the back plate just to show you what's going on here. Now here is the thin 3000 milliamp hour battery. Cool. So here it is in its proper configuration, the 3000 milliamp hour battery, all the way up against the mid frame on that side. And on this side, you can see it does not touch this ridge that is right there on the back plate. That's very important. Now I'm going to prove to you that this battery will fit in a thin back plate with an iFlash quad. It's in position, of course. We're gonna just plug this in. I'm not even going to adhere it, and we're gonna seal it up. Do even had a good squeeze off camera. Okay, and there you go. It is a 3000 milliamp hour battery with an iFlash quad and a thin back plate, and it works. No pressure points, looks perfect. Very awesome, very awesome. Also, what do you guys think about the yellow here? When I first saw them, I thought, just why? There are so many other colors. But with time, the yellow's grown on me a lot. It's grown on me a lot. Now, as you can see, boom, 3000 milliamp hour iFlash quad, thumbs up, and it fits, and it works. Perfect. Now, to the other model. Now, as you can see, they are not quite the same. It's kind of difficult to make out. This one is ever so slightly wider. And if you're wondering about this brand, it's total bull e and put the e, e there. It's total bull e This battery is nothing but a generic one with a sticker wrapped around it, as you can see there. 
So we've put the thick model 3000 milliamp hour battery in the iPod. And as you can see, it's close to the mid frame, touching the mid frame right now, but there is not enough room for it to clear the little ridge there. It actually runs into the ridge, just barely too wide. And because of that, this will not fit an eighth in backplate with an iFlash quad. As far as how do I know I'm getting this one and not this one, it can be kind of tricky. A lot of eBay sellers who are selling wholesale don't actually take pictures of the products that they're selling. They just use stock photos. When I originally found this out, I thought a good piece of advice would be to rely on the orientation of the text on the battery. However, we found that's unreliable and probably should not be followed. It is pretty much impossible to know exactly which one you're buying unless you ask the seller. I will say these thick model ones are definitely a lot less popular. I believe a lot less of them were manufactured. That being said, the thin model 3000 milliamp hour batteries are the ones that are being sold on my website. If you buy a 3000 milliamp hour battery through my website, you will get this thin model that fits with an iFlash quad. Laconosaur. Thank you to this post for giving me the idea. I've been meaning to make this video for such a long time, but I'd never gotten around to it until I saw your post. So thank you.